So welcome to We Figure This Out. In this little series of videos, we're going to talk about things we sell in a store that we may not know a lot about and you may not know a lot about. So together, we're going to figure it out through research and trial and error. Hi, in this episode of We Figure It Out, we want to talk about Mr. Hobby, Mr. Just Cement, brush on type. Now you'll see this stuff on our shelf and it comes in these little, little uh, cello bags with a zip top on it. And inside we got four grams of Mr. Just Cyanoacrylate Cement. Now those of you who have known me for a while, at one time we kind of revolutionized modeling in a small way by selling a ton of Bob Smith, uh, I think it was number 105, medium cyanoacrylate that was brush on in a little jar similar to this. So it had a black label on it. That stuff was basically Bob Smith medium CA in a brush on format. I guess this was done for the uh, ladies fingernail industry. So it came in a brush very similar to uh, what you would see in fingernail polish. And the ladies would put this on to put their acrylic nails and their and their add-ons and, and whatnot, uh, little jewelry bits and you know all the kind of things that the ladies do to make their fingernails look attractive. So we got this stuff in by mistake, and I tried it out on my modeling bench, and I urged a few fellas I know to. And the next thing you know, we were selling this stuff in quantities equal to uh, Tamiya Mr. Thin Cement. Like it was just that good. Now, for some reason, Bob Smith decided to change the formula and increase the price. So I think it's an odorless type now, and it just doesn't work the same as the medium CA did, at least for modeling purposes. I'm sure it's great for the fingernail industry because you eliminate the odor when you're when you're working with the ladies, right? So anyways, I saw this stuff on the shelf, and I said, I want to give this a try because this could do it again. So as I said, you got your little, your little brush, kind of like a fingernail brush. So you can literally apply this stuff to a piece of plastic right where you want it to go. No squeezing the bottle, no getting it all over. It's got enough viscosity, it basically stays where you put it. So I'm just going to push this piece together here. Okay, so I've put it there. Wait a couple of seconds. I'm going to see if I can take it apart. Yep, I got it off. Sorry about that. So that tells me it has a little bit of working time. Let's push it back on. We'll set that aside for a couple seconds. Next, we'll put the seat backs on this bench seat. Again, applying the glue precisely where we want it. It goes pretty well right where you put it, just like model cement. You know, part of the problem with CA is if you're, you know, lazy like me and you squeeze it right out of the tube it ends up all over the place especially the thin stuff I might say so let's put that on that's a very positive click on that part and just for fun let's put Bob Smith accelerator let's see if that works on the glue let's see if we get an instant dry on this like many of you we dispense Bob Smith manually we don't spray it on and get it everywhere Okay, so I've applied it, and yeah, let's see, oh yeah, that thing's on there, that's dry, that's done. So, we know we have a little working time, we know the accelerator works fine on it. Now let's try a little gap filling. So let's just take the edge of this seat, let's apply the glue on it. Okay, there would be absolutely no problem, you know, it went on smooth. If I had time, I and mean, I was going to waste your time, we could sit here and wait for it to dry naturally, but let's, uh, let's again put a bit of accelerator on that. Get her dry. We got her on, we were dry. Get our trusty hobby center standing stick. If you didn't if you didn't see the post, we have these back in stock again. $2.98 each or four for ten dollars. 
Yeah, and we're already we're already sanding that thing. So being as it seems to be a medium viscosity, lots of potential for filling gaps, which was one of the strengths of the Bob Smith glue. So I think on preliminary analysis, we have a worthy successor, the Bob Smith 105 brush on glue. I can't overstate the convenience of having a brush on CA that goes exactly where you put it. It's, it's as easy as working with model glue. You keep your accelerator handy to speed up the drying times. Um, with the screw top format, this stuff can last quite a while. It's got a good shelf life. And uh, it seems to be like a quantity like that four gram size. You know, that's a usable amount. So you're not going to be throwing a lot of this stuff out unless you're like me and you can't get to the bench for months at a time. But most of us get to it pretty regularly and this should be a really good addition to your modeling arsenal. So I highly recommend it based on my, my we figure it out uh, little experiment here. If you've used it, please leave comments, good, bad, or indifferent. And if you have anything you'd like to share about the product, please share it. Your own experiences, recommendations, how to use it and so forth, share your information, makes us all better modelers. If there's any episode you'd like to see or topics you'd like us to cover, leave that in the comments as well, because we're always looking for new ideas and things where we can share and grow together as hobbyists. Thanks a lot for watching.